Good morning, everybody. Uh, today, we're going to be changing a couple of tires on our little car dolly that we just picked up. Um, just trying to do a little quick refresher on it. I'm going to throw some paint on it. And uh, when I bought this thing, it has just some regular studless snow tires put on it. These things here are for like little Geo Metros and stuff like that. We're going to be hauling my boy's Jeep. Um, we're fixing to move here in about a month. So I ordered up some actual trailer tires. They just arrived here this morning. So I'm going to show my uh, boy on how to change the tires. And I thought I'd bring, bring you guys along with me if you like this type of stuff. Um, planning on doing a lot more of it. Kind of an informational uh, type you know videos and uh, you know I've seen a lot of people looking at you know stuff like this and and it gives me an opportunity to get out here with my boy and uh, kind of teach him a little bit of uh, life skills while we're at home with the uh, quarantine so stay tuned and we'll get this going <laughs> So what we're going to do is we got a regular tire iron and the first thing you want to do is to break these lug nuts off you want to keep the tire on the ground. So we got him with the tire iron, got the right size on it and we'll get this uh, these nuts broke loose. So go ahead and try to use both hands. There you go. Okay, that's good. That's good. You don't want to undo it all the way. Now go through the other ones. You want to, the, the whole point is just to break them with the weight of the actual trailer itself on that tire. So if this was a situation that you were out on the road and you had to do this, this is what you would do. There you go. Okay, next one. So like I said, we got these... Uh, tires on here now the the trailer tires that are all right so the tires that are on here they're load rated for 1100 pounds uh, these trailer actual trailer tires here the load rating on them is 1300 pounds for a single and then 1200 for uh, double but it's always nice to have an actual trailer tire on here especially when you're you're hauling something you don't have to worry about it they got a thicker sidewall on them and uh, better to use than an actual car trailer, so. But he's getting her broke loose here. Maybe. All right, so he's got all those broke loose. Now we'll get the floor jack under. We have a floor jack, but you can use your actual uh, jack out of your car and he'll get underneath the frame Let's see if he's yeah so he's got her underneath the frame here we'll lift her up a bit just to get the tire off the ground which is good and I'll have him take off the rest of the lug nuts there you'll have to hold the tire and find the right one <laughs> Nothing like putting them on the spot here. There you go. Now, easy way to use that is to hold the end. Hold the end of it right here. And then you can twist it or turn it with this here. So we'll get those all off and I'll bring all right, so got all the lug nuts off of there. I'll have them take that tire off. Okay, just roll her back around the other side. You can lay her down there, bud. Then we'll grab this new tire. Now, most all these trailer tires, they're pretty well um, universal. They don't change a whole lot, you know, unless you get a special lug on them. 
get that on there. And go ahead and grab your nuts and just hand tighten them on there first all the way around. Make sure they're going the right way. See? So these things here, they're like an acorn type deal. And they got this little beveled end here. So make sure those always go towards the wheel. Because that wheel, what happens, what happens is that wheel, this centers that wheel on there. So when you get her down there and you start tightening, you make sure that you get these centered right in here so it's not sitting on that stud. So I'll have him get those tightened on there and then uh, we'll start cranking her back. All right, so he's got them all on there. We're gonna find the, we're gonna find the right uh, socket size for that first. <laughs> He'll get a run down here. Now, if you're ever using an impact wrench or something like that, make sure that you start these nuts on there. Um, get them down about three or four threads before you start really hammering down on them. Uh, you don't want to cross thread those or you're going to have to. Go ahead and stop. No, nope, we're not torquing it yet. So you just want to go all the way around and just get them flushed down in there. And then we'll go through and torque them. And what we'll do is we'll set it down just a little bit just to get some pressure on this tire and then we can go ahead and torque them down. All right, we're just getting down to the last one there. He's got them all ran down there so far. So now what we'll do is we'll lower down the jack a little bit just to get some pressure on that tire. So that way when you torque them, but you don't want to lower it all the way down because you don't want the whole weight of the vehicle on it. So just enough to where that'll work. And what you do when you torque them down is you want to go crisscross. So you'll start here, and then you go here, and then here, here, and here. And you want to do it all evenly. So go ahead and... Yeah, you might want to... Okay. That one looks like it's a little big, but... Try this one. Okay. He had her dad was wrong. There we go. That looks a little better. Okay, good. Now you'll go across. Nope. Down. There you go. You always want to go in a star pattern. We'll let them get that all tightened up and we'll get both of these done. I'll bring you back when uh, we got the other side on. Well, there she is in all her glory. She's all done. She's got both the wheels and tires on on her. She's got her painted with just, uh, just some rattle can paint, but looks a little better than she did, you know. It'll work for us. You know, you don't have to go out and buy a brand new tool to, to do something. Sometimes uh, you'll find yourself a little something that's been hanging around a little bit. And, and if the, you know, the whole frame and everything's structurally sound, save yourself a few hundred dollars. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, you guys be safe out there and we'll see you on the next one.